you're going to jail for what you did to me. What'd he do to you? He wanted me to strip for him to get a job. You're disgusting. He's <laughs> gonna turn. He's seen commercials for the 3DO. Hi, my name is Jamie. We hardly know each other, but that's about to change. This is interesting. Put your big muscular arm around me and whisper some things in my ear. And I promise to do whatever your heart desires. Wow. Well, if you think I'm that type of girl, you've got another thing coming, mister. Because I don't do one-night stands, I don't date musicians, and I don't roll over just because you bought into this game. Fair warning, I'll be resisting your every move and getting your every mistake. I trust it won't be the first time you made mistakes with the opposite sex. Oh! Then come credits. Race cars? Why is the color negative? And then it goes into sort of a mosaic. Looks like a bad quality picture off the web. Then it goes to like a vertical letterbox. The titles are so bland, there's no drop shadow to separate them from the background. And the colors are picked at random, like a child selecting random pieces of chalk on a sidewalk. And it just goes on and on. Why are we watching still images of race cars? Why all the wacky filters? Why does it keep showing a naked guy lying in bed? Why is there a panda in a car on the bed? Why do they leave so much extra space when they cut out the panda from whatever background they originally belonged to? Why is the perspective butchered so badly? It doesn't even look like it's really there. But then why would it be there anyway? Now why is it just a head of a panda? Why would there ever be a floating head of a panda next to someone's bed? We haven't even gone through the credits yet. And this game is already a pile of monkey fun. Okay, what's this? What's going on? Okay, so the credits are finally over, and now we get a slideshow. It's your mother. Now get your ass out of bed. I know you're there, John. John? I said get up, 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 John. Get out of bed, John. Get out of bed. Yeah, Lucian was nosh. That's the album. I'm a wiener. The wiener is the bad. The album. I am. I am. The wiener. I'm. I'm. What? Yes. No, you're nosh. What? Cut the shit, Sonny. By the time you got married, you need children. I need grandchildren. I need my only child to bear fruit. And in my lifetime, don't you love your mother? This is not a game. This is like watching a game. Or no, it isn't. A game is something that moves. This doesn't move. It's a bunch of still images. Oh, thank God that's over. Now maybe we get to play the game. You called me, Daddy. Don't you know where I'm at? What? There's more of this shit? And keep in mind, you're seeing the abridged version. I've been sitting here nearly ten minutes so far. So there's her story. John and Kate are both pressured by each of their parents to find a significant other. Then we get a montage set to rockabilly music. Apparently, both Jane and John, these two unrelated characters, are taking showers at the same exact moment. There's a code to remove the sensor bars, or sensor face with the nose. But that's only if you really want to see John's hairy ass that much. They drag these scenes on as long as possible. Come on, why is that important? Whoa, I'd call that better living through chemistry. This is Harry Armas. Welcome aboard. And now we get a narrator? After 15 minutes of this crap, all of a sudden we need a narrator to start explaining it? So Jane rejects John and goes to a job interview. God, I love the elevator music. Note. You must be 18 or over to take a look at this decision. You gotta be 18? On the box, it says 17. Or say not here we may hit my higher pony. Puzzle, Jane. Oh, shish. Bring the shiz if you better sneak a bite out and off your nose, she's chilling you funny. Oh, what a bad joke. It doesn't even have any relevance now. He just told her to take off her clothes. He might as well say straight out, Suck my dick! Or cock! Take your damn clothes off! What a pervert. And what's with all the filters? Wow, I had no idea she'd actually do it. Oh no, it's time.
time for the narrator. Well, sport, do you think you can handle this choice without getting the lowest score in the history of this game? What, there's somebody else who played this shit? Who the hell are you? I'm taking over this story. Who's this? Over my dead body. So the next thing that happens, the boss, whose name is Thresher, by the way, he offers to pay Jane for sex. I've been searching for me, for you. <laughs> Right in slip. <laughs> it's an outtake. I'm gonna keep that in the script. They left an outtake I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna take just for a that. joke. Okay. All right, ready? How do I? How would anybody know to do that? You go through the whole game. All of a sudden, they throw you a curveball and change the fucking rules. You wanna know how I feel now? I'm fucking enraged! You don't just change the rules like that! This is shit sauce! This is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde standards! And I'm still playing it. I don't even know why. And you know what? I don't expect a good ending either. Why work hard on creating an elaborate ending when you've made the game so hard to figure out that there's not a chance in hell anyone would get that far? In fact, I expect a shitty ending. A fucking loathsome, ass-sucking shit heap of an ending! Uh, I... Never felt like this before. Uh, never. Me either. Ever. He did not 